What is going on gamers around the globe and welcome to a new series on this channel that I am super pumped for. We're going to call it just nostalgia or actually just a really good game. And what I'm going to do is go back in time and play games from my childhood that I have really fond memories of. And we're going to kick it off with none other than Fable, a game released way back in September 2004 on the original Xbox. When I think Fable, I think one of the greatest RPGs ever from my childhood. But now that we're older, we can play through it again and ask ourselves, was it really that good? Or is it just the nostalgia? Now, I'm playing this with an Xbox One controller. I wanted the true feel of this game, which means I would have played it on an original Xbox controller. Now, this is Xbox One, but close enough. But anyways, without further ado, let's hop on into this series. Oh, the music already is giving me cold chills. Now, the only thing I really remember about this game is that I thought it was really good. At some point, someone calls you a chicken chaser. And if you're really mean to people, you grow horns at some point, I think. That, that's really all I remember from this game. Choose difficulty, chicken, or heroic. Uh, we're going chicken. <laughs> we're not a fable pro. Not yet. Ooh, is this going to be a cutscene? Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. Mm, the horns. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. <laughs> the graphics, on, though. <laughs> Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Can I just say, I do not remember being this ugly of a kid. I mean, I know people say that all kids are cute. You know, oh, look, look at the cute baby, look at the kid. Nah, like, some kids are just ugly. And that's us. We ugly, man. <laughs> okay, so we need to do some good deeds around the town. That way we can buy our sister a present. <laughs> I remember doing that. I had to do it, guys. I had to do it. Is this my sister? I've lost Rosie. I left her and I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue pack. Okay, we'll find your bear, little girl. If I remember correctly, there was something going on behind this house. Little pumpkin. Oh, he's just... uh, you're so run along. We're busy. What? Uh, I, I was just um, I'm, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. Uh oh. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes. Uh -oh. Don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll. Will you take his bribe and commit a bad deed? No, we won't. 
We're gonna be good. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let... Oh, come here, my little sand goose. Sand goose? Is that what you guys call your girlfriends and wives? Get your my, miscellaneous items here. my little sand goose. I'll try that on my wife later. Alright, where's the teddy bear? Let's go look for the teddy bear. That music, though, takes me back. What do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. <gasps> no, he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. I told him if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. Let's beat him up. Can we beat him up? That's not a bad deed, is it? He's a bully. I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. <laughs> Thank you. Oh you my God. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. There's the teddy bear with the blue patch on its back. We performed our first good deed. <laughs> I feel like our body is not proportionate. Like, my head is too big for my body. At least I don't have teeth like that kid. Oh my goodness. All right, let's give her her teddy bear. <gasps> you found Rosie. Thank you so much. <laughs> She's not even looking at me. Come on, Rosie. Let's change your stuffing. I don't think she is. You performed a good deed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world trader. buying and selling wares, especially to fine folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. Mm -hmm. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face. I feel like this is a scam. Only three gold pieces. I feel like this is a scam. No, I don't Maybe even have Maybe later, but how? Remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that one. Oh, wrong way. Boy, birthdays are a big deal around here. Well done, lad. Here's your award for those good deeds. So, have you got enough money for a gift for- We have two. Okay, so not quite. Is this our house? Let's check out our house. Uh, it's cozy. Go down here. I think there was a guy wanting some help down here, maybe? Yeah, I saw him standing here. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. Don't move, okay. I've got a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. Now define don't be long. Is that... My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. No. Quick! While he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's in... Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. What a brat. Come on. Let's go and break stuff. No, he better not punch them open just either. just going to stand there like a lemon? Now, being good is so boring. <laughs> no, Wouldn't don't. You prefer to be smashing things? Come on. There's still time before he gets back. I must protect these boxes with my life. Oh, you're no fun at all. The worst thing I do is kick chickens. That's it. Fine. Have your stupid good deed then. That's right, you brat. Here he comes. I'd say that was number one. That's too fast to be a number two. Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favor. 
I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Another good deed down. Okay. That'll get us three gold pieces. Maybe we do buy the chocolate. I think that that's probably a decent gift now that I think about it. Trade goods. I just can't stand that his R's are W's. Quaid goods. Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? I think so, father. Uh, on your map shows the location of the person, object, or place you should go to next. Okay, that's our main objective. I guess the chocolate was our only option. Maybe it's just not giving us a lot of choices, so to say, because it's early on. Ooh, you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Lucky you didn't eat Quickly, them, huh? Give me three gold pieces now, and they're yours. I still don't know how I feel about this, but we're gonna buy them. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Your sister? <laughs> All right, let's go give her the chocolate. I hope she likes chocolate. She's all the way up here. Now I wanna know down in the comment section below if you guys have ever played this game. Let me know, put it down there. There she is. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is. Oh, everyone like in town knows. Last year. Don't I'm worry. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. Give the chocolates to our sister. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Okay, is she like uh, a side? Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> It's really happening. Oh, snap. They're here. You've got to hide. That sounds like an army. Got one. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. I don't remember this Blood being a red sad flames story. Blood-red lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy. And soon, their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, oh, no. where That's... the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. Oh. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. Why do they want me? From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. Ooh, I love the style where it's like paintings. Mm. 
So good. Oh no. Everything's on fire. There's the oh gosh. We gotta get to our house. I know they already took them. But maybe someone's left. Maybe there's someone left alive we can help. Wow, they literally killed everyone. Oh no, is it gonna be our dad? Who fought to protect us? We must leave. It's not safe here. Obviously. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Why does no one make direct eye contact in this game? Hmm. I thought you'd have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <laughs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Ooh, okay. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I love this, this era or style of game, like medieval type. You know? It's I have so a new cool. student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. Now keep in mind, guys, that this is an RPG, so they start out slow in a ramp up. So just keep that in mind. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. This music. I'm gonna have to get some tattoos on my face so I fit in with everyone. <laughs> and some gloves that actually fit, I think. It's gonna be hard to wield a sword with oversized gloves like that. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. He's not from around My name's here. Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Talk about fast walking down hmm. some stairs. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go. Let's hurry. Ah. Why am I leading the way? I don't know my way around here. Alright, we gotta at least get some training in on this first video. This is kind of setting up the series, guys. It's kind of the idea. You've finally prized yourself from your pillow, I see. Alright, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. Alright. 
Let's now get then, some combat in. I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. Are we not gonna get like a sword? <laughs> All right. You're not making much of an impact there, are you? I I need a Here, sword. Try with this. Yes. A uh, a stick. All right. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. <laughs> All right, a stick will do. Oh, now we're getting him. Now we're getting him. Ah, now that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops experience. It drops an experience orb. These orbs contain the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs. Or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. <laughs> pick it up. He needs trigger to pull it towards us. That's pretty cool. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the guild alarm. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity to test your spirit. With a stick? I'll wait for you at the guild woods entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Oh, beetles. Okay, I'm over here thinking like werewolves or some type of giant yeti monster or something. And I was about to say, bro, you gave me a stick. Okay. We've started a quest uh, by pressing that button. You guys are going to learn I'm bad about not reading things. Uh, yep. Okay. All right, let's take down the beetles, guys. And then we will end this video. I think. I'm already addicted. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we have the little emote things, don't we? <laughs> yes. Yes, we'll have to try all of those out. Oh, I, I feel like I remember as a kid just finding that so funny. And as you can tell, I'm still just a big kid because I, I laughed at it at 30 years old. All right, let's get these beetles. Shoot. How do we roll? There we go. Gotta be careful. Can I block? I don't know how. All right. I'll be the guild exterminator. Take care of all the beetles with my giant stick. Easy peasy. We got 20 gold for that. Okay. Right. Give me more. Oh, yeah. Pull all that XP, baby. Give me some more quests like that. 20 gold for killing some beetles with a stick. Now, this is the anniversary edition. I might have forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, this has some updated visuals. So it didn't look quite this good on original Xbox. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Here, I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you can get an early night. Do you wish to leave your childhood and begin apprentice training? <laughs> easy question and we're gonna find out when we start the next video actually i'm gonna make you guys wait for it so again welcome to the fable playthrough nostalgia or actually just a really good game we're gonna find out at the end of this series so i hope you guys enjoyed it as i mentioned earlier let me know down in the comment section below if you ever played fable uh this is just kind of setting everything up it's an rpg so oh it's gonna get deep i i have a couple of things i remember from this game and it's gonna get crazy so give it a thumbs up if you want me to continue the series and yeah that's gonna be it for this one i will see you guys for episode number two positive gamer peace out